Why, hello there, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. And I'm actually playing the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection right now because Lucasfilm Games and Aspire, they actually sent me a review code of the game. So a huge thank you to them for sending me a review code. And this means only one thing that yes, you will be seeing gameplay footage of the game and my initial impressions on March 13th at 9 a.m. ET time right here on the channel. So if you're new here, welcome and hit that subscribe button to keep updated on when my videos will be releasing. So be sure to come back on March 13th, 9 a.m. ET time to see all of the brand new gameplay, my initial impressions and all of the goodness because Battlefront is back and the actual game will be releasing on March 14th for all platforms with full online multiplayer support. So exciting times indeed to be a Star Wars Battlefront fan. And in this video, we'll be answering many of your questions, at least questions that I can answer. The rest of the questions I'll be able to answer on March 13th, of course, because that's the embargo date. But let's go ahead and start off with this question right here. And this is a question that I've been seeing a lot. This comes from Luke Bennett 9198 who asks, do you think they'll add Renegade Squadron and Elite Squadron in this collection or would that be a separate collection? And this is a really great question. Something that I've seen a lot of you asking. And personally, I think this would be cool to see either as DLC for the Battlefront collection or perhaps a separate game. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And I know a lot of people, they didn't really get to experience this game because this one released on the PSP. So a lot of us didn't get to experience it. So I'm all for them releasing this in the future. I really hope they do. And from what I understand, uh, Renegade Squadron actually had a ground to space component in it as well. So how cool would that be to see that remastered and released either as DLC to the Battlefront Classic Collection or perhaps as a standalone game. So again, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Now, this is another question that a lot of you have been asking as well. And this comes from Beastly Awesome 123456. They ask, is Galactic Conquest online or just offline in the Battlefront Classic Collection? And from what Aspire has said, it is offline. So it's going to be just like the original games. The uh, Galactic Conquest mode is going to be a single player offline experience, but it would be awesome to see this added as a multiplayer experience in the future, especially with games like Helldivers 2 taking off in popularity with their Galactic War type of mode, you know, where you can go in there, choose the planets you want to attack, uh, see the progress of the Galactic War, see what's going on with the Warfront. I would love to see that in either the classic collection of Battlefront or perhaps in a brand new Battlefront game. Because, yes, many people like myself, believe that we could indeed see a Star Wars Battlefront 3 announced as a result of the popularity of this classic collection. So I think personally that if this classic collection takes off, we will eventually see a Battlefront 3 announcement. That would be amazing, of course. Now, this question comes from... Uh, Rooks BNR, hopefully I said that right. They asked, should I actually get the classic collection or the originals? So in my opinion, you should hands down get the classic collection because the classic collection, not only is it going to be fully upscaled and, you know, the graphics have been upgraded in that way, but it also includes full online multiplayer support. So what that means is that Aspire and Lucasfilm Games are officially supporting the games with official online servers across all platforms. So that is awesome news and definitely worth the admission because the community is going to be here at the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. So you definitely want to be online with everyone and playing in the multiplayer servers. Now, this question comes from Benjamin Bot 5661 who asks, will Aspire add crossplay in a future update 
due to demand? And this is yet another huge question because right now the game only supports cross-gen play, which means you can play with people on the same platform. So for instance, PS4 people can play with PS5 people and Xbox One people can play with Xbox Series S and X people. And then of course, PC uh, will be playing with that crowd. And then Nintendo Switch will be playing with that crowd. But unfortunately right now, there's no cross play between platforms. So, you know, like Nintendo Switch people can't play with everyone else, for instance. So I really, really hope Aspire listens to the community feedback and that they add cross play as a future update, because I think this will make this game explode even more. And I think the demand for cross play will be there, especially since a lot of us have friends that are on different platforms and we want to play with our friends. So Again, I really, really hope that they add this in the future. Now, this question comes from Rafael Garcia, who asks, will there be a mod shop? I feel like with games like Ark Survival and Minecraft, pretty much having on console mods, I would just like to see what people could create. And totally agree, I would love to see mods like this, but there's no word if there's going to be a mod shop. So we don't have any official word from Aspire or Lucasfilm Games on that just yet, but we do know that the Battlefront Classic Collection has been upgraded from 32-bit to 64-bit when compared to the original classics. And what this means is that since it is 64-bit, we could see some awesome mods in the future because with 64-bit modding, that opens up so many possibilities for modders, but we'll have to see what Aspire and Lucasfilm games say in the future. So again, I'll keep you updated on that if I hear any news on that. And then uh, Zachary DS also asks, will it have Steam Workshop support? And this basically is the same question about mod support. We don't know if it will have Steam Workshop support just yet, but again, I'll keep you updated on that if I find out anything from Lucasfilm Games or Aspire. Now, another big question. This comes from Vava Do Simov. I probably said that completely wrong, but they asked, will there be physical copies of Battlefront Collection coming later? I need it in my collection. So yes, I also need it in my collection as well, just like General Grievous would say. And I would have to say on this one that we will eventually see a physical copy. If we look at the history of Aspire, they've always uh, partnered with limited run games to release special physical editions of their games. So I'm expecting them to make an announcement in the future about a special physical edition of Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. If they do that, I'll definitely be pre-ordering. I really hope they announce this in the near future. Now also, this was asked by Arbiter12 who asked, my only real question would be, could we see a potential concept art gallery? I love seeing behind the design stuff. So even some design documents and VODs going over production for both games over especially Battlefront 2, given its incredibly short production cycle. Like, that would be extremely good to see for people like me who like that stuff. And totally agree, I would love to see behind-the-scenes documentary stuff showing what it was like developing both Star Wars Battlefront 1 and Star Wars Battlefront 2 back in the day. I've seen some commentary out there, some clips on YouTube showing some behind-the-scenes stuff with the developers, but I don't think there's really a whole documentary style uh, video or whole documentary style film showing the behind the scenes creation of the Star Wars Battlefront franchise. So I totally support this and it'd be cool to see this partnered with limited run games and the physical edition of the game if they decide to release a physical edition. So hopefully we see something like this in the future. And remember everybody, I'll be posting my gameplay of the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection right here on the channel, March 13th at 9 a.m. ET. And I'll see you there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and may the force be with you always.